so guys i am a verified educator on an online learning platform called on academy right where i am making courses for gate examination both in hindi and english right so you can download the on academy learning app search my name over there act and follow me on that particular platform for awesome videos on the gate chemistry examination All right so a very good evening to all of you now uh, today i will tell you something about the interviews in the public sector undertakings right so one of the uh, one of my subscribers dhanaji patel first of all wish him a big congratulations because he has qualified your iocl um, interview round and now he's selected in the iocl right so a big big congratulations to uh, dhanaji and he was kind enough to reply to my uh, comment and he told me that he will be uh, giving me the questions and how was his interview experience he did not send me the video maybe he was not comfortable with it but he has sent me the questions so my myself am not interested in public sector undertakings psus right but many of you are and you have a desire to join these public sector undertakings right but there's a lot of ambiguity regarding what is the cut off what is required to get into these um, public sector undertakings what are the kind of questions right even my friends who have qualified over ngc and iocl they had rank of around uh, in top 100 in gate examination so i used to think only they they only take top 100 but that is not the case and it will be cleared out today right so first of all let's again wish him a very big congratulations and uh, now i'll tell you the questions he has asked me right sorry he sent me the questions that were asked to him in the iocl interview so and i'll tell you about his academic profile as well so that you can relate that you don't require uh, you know very good rank in gate examination to qualify these public sector undertakings right so uh, the first thing he has written is group, he had a group uh, debate, like group discussion about plastic carry bags should they be banned or not so there was a group discussion on this particular fact or you can say a group debate so in the in this thing the important point is see i have also given a uh, lot of gds and uh, like especially for the nda exam i had my ssb and i had qualified the nda exam as well like both the written and the interview round uh, i did not join that's a different thing but over there also we had group group discussion and in the group discussion what they are looking for whether you are able to initiate Uh, so it's good that if you can initiate the group discussion you are the first speaker that will be really good and they also see whether you listen to the points carefully or you just in, keep on interrupting so don't interrupt in between try and initiate the conversation and stick to your point whichever side you have taken whether it should be banned or not be banned stick to that particular point then we have group task in group task they look at your smartness that how smart are you and how as a group as a group member as a team member how do you perform so in, in their group task they had this uh, plan to make a smart city that was the group task to make up uh, to make a, a smart city how will you make a smart city so that was a group task that was given to them after that he had a personal interview around in that he has listed down all the questions and I'll, i'll again say thank you because they have been listed in a very good order and the it's very clear so what is your name first of all they ask the general things your introduction tell me about yourself tell me about your family background who is your role model so this is an important question uh, who is your role model they try and assess your personality through these questions uh, then why you um, why you left your previous job so he had a previous job as well so they are asking why he left the previous job you should have a very good answer uh, a very good answer to why you have left that job and you want to join uh, iocl then the, obviously the next question is okay you have left, left that job then why do you want to join iocl then what is the electronic configuration of carbon so very very simple questions are going to be asked in personal interviews uh, why valency of carbon is 4 and not 2 so you know these are some questions that you might think a class 6th or 7th student will ask you and you know to be very honest <laughs> when i saw this question in fact i also did not have the answer at that particular moment that i mean i mean i was also thinking for a couple of minutes why the valency of carbon is not uh, you know for uh, like why it's not um, two rather it's four right so like obviously the answer is quite obvious but sometimes you know you don't uh, see these questions um, often and you can tend to get a little uh, bla blacked out you know when you see such kind of questions or when these questions are asked so they might be uh, looking very simple but at the moment in the personal interview sometimes it, get, it gets very tough to answer them then uh, what is the valency of carbon how why do we have why do we hire you okay why do we hire you so like what is it in you that we uh, what are what are the qualities that you have uh, that will be good for the company uh, then what is spectroscopy or uh, just basic principles of ir and nmr spectroscopy uh, then um, why do we need spectroscopy uh, what are your hobbies um, what was the last book you have read uh, what is your daily routine 
so he used to teach class 11th and 12th students so they have asked how do, how you used to teach class 11th and 12th students like what do you teach 11th and 12th students and what are the books written by apj abdul kalam so i think he might have answered that he reads books uh, related to apj abdul kalam so they might have just asked that whether he is faking it or not so they asked him what all books have you read about apj abdul kalam so don't fake in the interview if you have read the books say i have read these books if you haven't don't do not try to fake it because let's say the interviewer also has read that book he'll start asking you questions about the book as well right uh, then um, uh, where, okay what are the books written by apj abdul kalam where did he die what what is he famous for what is apj abdul kalam famous for uh, what is his contribution and what is so special about him uh, so tell me about iocl so if you're going for a iocl interview you have to know about iocl you have to know about the company because that shows you're interested in actually joining the company and you're not just there for the interview just for the money and for the secure job you should have genu genuine interest in joining iocl and you can see there are some very very um, uh, these kind of questions very um, you know general awareness questions so you should also be aware about what is happening in your surroundings uh, then what is fortune 500 who made the list so these, these are the list of companies fortune 500 uh, what is special about your sister okay then um, how ethical is iocl and okay so these are the questions and bsc 4 and bsc 5 where have you uh, okay, I don't know what that question is. Last question, I'm not able to understand. But how ethical is IOCL is the last question. So these were the questions that were asked to him in the interview. Now coming on to his academic profile. Um, okay, so he did his BSc from Shivaji University and got 87% in 2013. He completed his BSc. Then he did MSc from SP College, Pune. And he got 70% in 2015. And after that, he joined Lupin um, in Limited, Lupin India Private Limited. Uh, private limited and he was uh, like as a trainee he joined over there in 2015 and uh, he was uh, awarded the um, best employee in the training period that has never happened so very big congratulations for that as well uh, he has a gate score of uh, in he prepared for gate 2018 and um, he left lupin in october 2017 so that must have been a very tough decision or i don't know what was the situation what was the situation like when he left lupin so i think he worked in lupin for two years then he left it and in gate 2018 he scored 43 on 100 okay 43 is not that tough to score i'll be very honest right so you can easily score 43 and uh, uh, he got a rank of um, 424 okay he got a rank of 424 and he is actually um, he might also clear june 2018 uh, examination the csr jrf but uh, so that that is it and he has also qualified the phd interview for bits planning goa but he did not join and he has finally got selected for iocl so that is great and um, he says that he's not from a very good economic background right so he used to also take tuitions for class 11th and 12th students so that is a great achievement he did all this and um, so he deserves or he has put in a lot of hard work and he actually deserves to be um, uh, he actually deserves to be uh, a part of iocl right so yeah and um, it's okay so he uh, like i was not about to say this but he has told me that please mention give a special reference to your ch channel as well uh, that it helped him a lot so i did not want to say it but since you have mentioned it i'll say it so thank you so much uh, dhanaji thank you i am i'm really grateful that my channel could help you uh, out and uh, so these were the questions and i'm really thankful to you that you shared this because many people don't share uh, all these information and i myself used to believe that getting into public sector undertakings requires a very good gate rank let's say top 100 or top 150 uh, but uh, you have showed that that is that is just a myth okay there's not no such thing he got a rank of 424 and he's selected for iocl so i wish you all the very best for your future endeavors and i hope all of you found this video useful uh, do not forget to congratulate dhanaji it's a great achievement and all the very best to all of you hope whoever has the um, whoever wants to join iocl or any other public sector undertaking hope you do that and those who are looking for a phd it's a noble noble um it's a noble sorry not noble it's, it's a noble uh, uh, field and i hope um many of you are also interested in research and you just don't run after government jobs um, you know sometimes curiosity also plays a big role so with that i'll end this video thank you so much for watching